Hi viewers, welcome to Menti Facts. How does an eraser eliminate pencil marks? Roman scribes wrote on papyrus with a thin rod made of lead called a stylus. Lead is a soft metal, so the stylus left a light legible mark. In 1564, a large graphite deposit was discovered in England. Graphite leaves a darker mark than lead, plus it is non-toxic. Pencils begin to be used similar to the stylus, except with the wrapping to keep the used hands clean. When you erase a pencil mark, you are removing graphite that is carbon, not lead. Before the eraser was invented, you could use a rolled up piece of white bread to remove pencil marks. The modern eraser, the pencil eraser was first invented on 1770 by British engineer Edward Dymey. Although it was not a very iconic discovery, considering he accidentally picked up a piece of rubber instead of the bread and found that it worked. This is where the name rubber came from because the eraser is mostly made from rubber. However, many companies nowadays add plastic and vinyl to increase their usage and look. Each piece of rubber has a form of softener. Normally, vegetable oil added to it to make the eraser even more durable and flexible. Erasers work because of friction. Try rubbing your hands together right now. Do you feel them getting warmer? The warmth you feel is the heat generated by the force of friction created by the rough surfaces of your hands rubbing together. As the abrasives in your eraser are rubbed against paper, friction produces heat which helps the rubber become sticky enough to hold on to the graphite particles. As the rubber grabs the graphite particles, small pieces of combined rubber and graphite get left behind. That's the stuff you brush off your paper when you are finished erasing. Without the softener in your eraser, your piece of paper would tear. The softener acts as a barrier between the intense friction and the fragile paper and keeps the whole thing intact. Thanks for watching.